Hi everyone, Dr. Pramil here. Welcome to researchmd.com. We're going to talk to you about a very interesting study. Cow's saliva can um, stop the spreading of um, HIV and herpes infection. Okay? Now, do you know the cow produces 35 gallons of saliva per day, okay? Uh, if you look at the lifespan of cow, they can live up to 20 years. And if you multiply that, that comes around 250,000 gallons of saliva in the lifetime they produce. Previous studies have shown that, you know, in this saliva they got urea, so when cow drools and it hit the ground, and it can help in the you know, um, grass production. There's like more grass and all that. Cow also moves their jaw around like 50 times per day. Uh, I mean, 50 times per minute. So if you add that, like that's like um, in a day, around like 72,000 times they move their jaw. Um, so what did the scientists find out? Let's look at what is in the saliva. Saliva contain the mucus and urea. Those are the main product in the cow's saliva, okay? It also got sialic acid, which play a very important role in the interaction between the immune cells and the cytokines, okay? So in the cow's saliva, you got around 30%. You got like uh, N-acetyl neuraminic acid and around, uh, um, you know, like around 70 to so around another 30%, you can have glycolyl neuraminic acid also and these are the major one kind of produce interact with the immune system and um, decrease the uh, spread of the viruses okay <clears throat> so what is new the scientists in Sweden and Germany they found out then what did they do they took the saliva and made it a gel like structure and that can decrease the um, HIV and uh, herpes transmission the study was published in advanced science magazine so again the scientists took the saliva and they cross linked to produce this mucus okay so what did the mucus do in this um so in this gel, the HIV got this glycoprotein GP120 envelope and then binds to it, decrease the cytokine activation. That is the main, um, you know, the immunological reaction in it So in conclusion, scientists have, I mean, most likely this is what's going to happen in the future. There will be development of the personal lubricant. It will be used to prevent the transmission of HIV and herpes infection. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.